House Bill 114 is one of several gun bills at the legislature, and it's one that's set to be heard on the House floor. But gun shop owners say this legislation has the potential to shut them down. Calipers has been home to Albuquerque for more than two decades, a business that the CEO says doesn't come easy. Every firearm that we get is bound, goes through a bound book, and the ATF knows about every single one. So we're, we're kind of like the authority. But you get rid of us, you've got a black market. And that will happen. With multiple gun bills at the Roundhouse, Burt and other members of the New Mexico Firearms Industry Association are voicing their concerns on bills like the Firearm Industry Accountability Act. Sponsors say it will ensure the firearm industry follows federal and state laws. Gun stores say there may be side effects. That's why if you read other people saying, hey, they're trying to force the industry out of New Mexico, that's why. It just is so prohibitive for us to stay in business that it's almost impossible to be very candid. He says gun shops already deal with some of the most strict regulations by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms. Another part of the bill may hold store employees accountable for the weapons they sell to people who may become a risk to themselves or others. And the store manager may have the job assignment of, of ensuring that adequate controls are in place and implemented by employees that work for the manager. The bill has passed two committees and is on the agenda for third reading on the House floor. What this bill does, it allows people, the attorney general's office or an individual who's been harmed by someone who hasn't done what they needed to do to, bring, to um, have a civil cause of action. Now, the CEO here at Calibers says he would like to work with lawmakers to come up with legislation that would address gun safety concerns. Reporting live in Albuquerque, Stephanie Muniz, KOAT Action 7 News.